so I really need you to hone in. Okay. This um, is called the shape puzzle. So in each of your envelopes are four different colors um, of cards, and there should be four of each. What you're going to do, the whole goal is as a team, you're going to come up with what number corresponds with the shape that you're given. So you're going to have to use some logic some reasoning, some ordering skills to help you. Now the, the added challenge to this is that every person in your group is going to have one card, or you're going to have four cards total, but one of each color. You are not allowed, absolutely not allowed, to show your card to your teammate. Jose, can you show your card to a teammate? You don't have a card yet, but when you get it, are you allowed to show it? No. No. No cheating. Absolutely no cheating involved in this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and have you do steps one and step two, and then you're going to check in with me. You're going to give me a thumbs up and have your eyes on me. So deal out your clues. Each person gets one color. If you have a group of three, you're going to have to problem solve that. One person will have more than one color. But do not show your cards to anyone. Do not show your cards to anyone. Hurry up. What's your point? I know. Can you travel to the back? How would how you make sure? You can each have one and then someone has to have one. Oh. Just for each cup. Oh. Oh. Um, yes. I want pink. 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 Well, we yeah, you know you have one person left. Anybody got any you want to split that up? Okay. Yeah. Wait, is it goldfish? Okay. So how many? One of each color. You need one of each color. One of each color. We need one of each color. One of each color. One of each color.
to what makes sense for how you found your answer, you're going to document those. Are there any questions? Can someone summarize what we are doing? I need, I need someone to summarize it for me, or else I'm going to have to explain again. Which set are you starting with? A. Do so you want to summarize? A. You're trying to figure it out. You cannot tell anyone. And then where do you write it once you figure it out? In the box right here. Okay, so everyone corresponds. Once you get farther down, I'm going to be checking in with your groups. If you get stuck, I have some hint cards for you. So if you're stuck on C, you can send one person from your group to come and look at this, but this stays at the board. You don't, it does not go with you back to your table. You get to look at it and then go back to your group. Any questions about the hint card? No. Okay. You're gonna, everyone's going to start with set A. We might stop and debrief after A. So take, go ahead and get started. Everyone's starting with set A. Set A. So you can, everyone shared, so set A is blue, right? So everyone look at your blue card. Okay, and what is your blue card? Yeah, say what it, say what's on it. Explain it. Okay. 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 Like, who thinks they have to start with you? Jose, what are yours? Jake Pug. Jake Pug. Jake Pug. Jake Pug. Okay, so if the square equals the score, can anyone say anything else about their card? Do you know the square is four? So how does that so then let's talk about that, figure that out so we can catch up with each other again. Can you see how it's a short one? Can you see how it's a short one? Can you see how Okay, so whose clue did you need first? Then we'll go on. What was your clue? Yeah. What? What? Uh, okay, so first. Where are you trying to leave the square? Square plus. Does 
Star plus star equals triangle. Oh, um, yeah, it does. Yeah, triangle equals two. But uh, if you plug it in on that, then square is four plus triangle plus triangle. triangle.
and then square plus triangle equal to star. So I'm plus five. Triangle equal to star. So I'm plus five is equal to four. Where is No. Look, it's. It's What is triangle? Five? Yeah, triangle is five. And then. Which is. Four. Square plus triangle equals star. Five plus something equals four. I mean, not. Star is four. So. Triangle is five. I mean, yeah, triangle is five, and that's four. On C, okay, if you need a hint, oh, I'll go. Okay, you can, we can look at the hint card to get started, but then just put that in your steps, like you had to use okay. it. Okay. Four, minus, two, <laughs> okay, which one are we on? B, okay. Have we all shared our cards? Okay. Um, who has the most logical start card? Silas, what was yours? Okay. So, why would that be a helpful start card? What? Well, what is obvious? Because it only has one shape and the number is Okay, which is what? So, what's the star? Okay. Can we fill that out? Okay. So, now that we have that clue, what's going to help us figure out the star in the triangle? Who is the next card that's going to make that helpful? What does your card say? Okay. So yours doesn't have to do with square. Oh, yeah. Star minus square. So how can that help? What do you know? You know what star is? You know what star is? No, a star is. So then, what does that mean about yours? What minus five equals two? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you can hear me clap once. If you can hear me clap twice. Okay. We're gonna stop where you're at. You do not you do not have to finish all of the puzzles. Um, but just Show me how many that you got through. I got through A, B, C, or D. So most people are at least on three. Okay? Awesome. Um, I noticed from walking around that this one was much more challenging. How many of you thought it was much more challenging than the story? Yes? Yes, sort of? Does anyone want to explain a little bit about that? What was challenging about this task? Elvis. The numbers that you have to figure out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Did we hear that? No. Will you, will you say a little bit louder for me? And everyone's I, ears are listening this time. Figure out the numbers that add up to the numbers. Okay. Uh, yeah. We couldn't see the other pieces. Yeah. Did you say that last time right here? We couldn't see the other pieces. All right, Dennis? You have to repeat it a lot of times so that the person 
Yeah. Tristan? It did. It really did depend on communication. So kind of this activity really helped us in two areas, right? We were looking, we were working on logic and order, uh, but it w probably would have been a lot easier if you just got to see everyone's cards, right? Yeah? The communication piece is actually a little bit challenging. And, and for me, I like to hear what you guys are saying. And sometimes when you just have things in front of you, your minds are thinking and working, but I don't really get to hear, hear what you're thinking about. And this was a way for me to hear. And I did hear some really good things um, coming out of it, even though I could tell this is a little bit more challenging for all of us. Um, what decisions did you guys have to make as a group for this, for this task? Like, how did you figure out these shape equations? How did you figure that out? Take a minute to discuss with your group. How did you guys figure out the order? You should say that. Okay, let's bring it back. Table five. Could you tell me a little bit about your your decisions that you made as a group? Square plus 
So, so this is like, it looks like you had a little bit of order. Like, yep. So would you say that the order matters? Okay, so order matters. Um, all right, and then let's see, one more table. Table four. How is, this, how is this activity similar to the, the mouse story? How are they similar? <laughs> Because uh, you have to match up the south to make sure it makes sense. Just this. Elvis has something. Elvis has something. Wait, what did you want to add? I didn't hear that, Elvis. I said a logical sequence. A logical sequence? Oh! 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 Oh